Surrenders are nothing new, but the Beaufort County Animal Shelter is seeing an influx of more than dogs and cats placed in their care. WNCT's Katie Harden has more on how the shelter is coping with the livestock. The Beaufort County Animal Shelter is no stranger to some unusual guests. Right down the row, next to the cute terrier mix, Ferrets, snakes, potbelly pigs, rabbits, the list goes on and on. And this week, that list includes two billy goats named Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> We'd rather for them to, to surrender into us than to let them uh, not know what to do or let them starve or just not be careful. These goats were causing trouble in their neighborhood, climbing on cars and other high surfaces. After further educating the owner, animal control officers brought the goats to the shelter so they could be properly cared for. This is not like a dog or a cat. It, you know, those types of animals require a lot more substance uh, area to take care of. Since the goats arrived, many people looked to adopt the pair. Some visitors even made their way to the shelter just to check out the duo. It is an attraction that draws a lot of people here. Uh, it's not a pet zoo, but people do come out here just to, they want to play with them and take a look at them and see what it is. Uh, but it's not ever hard trying to get a home for them. The shelter also rescues horses, sheep, chickens, and even cows. Animal Control says its shelter is packed, but adoption rates are also on the rise. We had 1,400 adoptions last year. Um, so far this year, we're 21 days and we've had 78 adoptions, over 100 intakes. So it's, it's very busy on a daily basis. Dogs, cats, goats, or horses, Beaufort County is working to save them all. Ebony and Ivory have been adopted and will head home on Thursday. In Washington, Katie Harden, 9 on your side. Now the shelter charges a low rehoming fee for the unusual shelter animals as low as $20 for horses and goats if the conditions at their new home meet guidelines.